Hello everybody. Today I'm going over my monthly x-rays in tibial consolidation. On Friday, December 2nd, I had my monthly x-rays. I lengthened 3.7 centimeters on the tibias. Th these are my first x-rays since I moved out of Baltimore about two weeks ago. So I went to my local radiology center for my monthly x-rays. My local radiology center provides my x-rays on a CD. I then open the x-rays on my home computer, save them to image files, and then send them to Dr. Asiak via text. Dr. Asiak then does a preliminary analysis. The next day, I email the CD to the doctor's office. Because I'm not in Baltimore, I don't have a video of the doctor's analysis. Instead, I will show you my x-rays and provide my own analysis from my extensive experience with x-rays and leg lengthening analysis. Let's start off with my left tibia. Before analyzing the bone consolidation, another important part to analyze is the hardware, such as the precise nail and all the screws. Because if the, there may be a bending or cracking in the nail or the screws may be bending, and if that happens, that can lead to some serious troubles. So you can see there's the nail and the screws are fine, both from the front side, the anterior side, and the lateral side. If you remember from last month, my left tibia was lagging in consolidation. This time it seems to be improving. There's more calcification of the callus as the callus is turning into bone, both on the tibia and the fibula especially in the middle part of the fibula. That used to be pretty empty before, but now it's calcifying. And from the side view, it's, you can see more calcification, both on the tibia and the fibula. Here's my x-rays from last month as a comparison. You can see from last month, especially the fibula, it seemed, even though there was a callus formation, but it wasn't calcifying. But this time, this, there's more calcification, both at the end points and also in the middle, as well as the tibia. You can see more calcification. From the lateral view, there is there's some calcification, but it's a little lighter. But now it's, you can see more calcification of the callus. Now my right tibia, first the hardware. The nail is intact, no bending or cracking on the nail on either view. And all the screws are not bending either. They're stable and fine. My right tibia was the better consolidating tibia. One of the reason the fibula turned out to consolidate better is because the osteomy was more oblique, so it had more, or elliptical, so it had more surface area for the callus to form and to turn into bone. And also my right tibia is doing very well with calcification, both on the front and the lateral side. So what did my doctor say about my x-rays? I am almost fully weight-bearing. My right tibia is full weight bearing. My left tibia is almost full weight bearing, at least 70%. So what does this mean about walking independently? I'm very close to walking independently, but not quite. It means I can use just one forearm crutch or a walking cane on my right hand. So when I walk, it will be enough support for my weaker left leg. I can also take several small, slow, and independent steps inside home without any device. If you remember the consolidation stages, with my stronger right leg, I'm basically in consolidation stage three, full weight bearing and independent. But my weaker left leg, it's in the advanced consolidation stage two, where it's full weight bearing with an assisted device. It might be like a 
2.5 if there's such a number, but it's more advanced and I'm pretty close to getting it full weight bearing. My left tibia and fibula are improving in consolidation and catching up with my right tibia and fibula. I will continue doing these techniques since November that have helped me improve consolidation on my left tibia and fibula. One, increase daily vitamin D supplements. Two, eat more, especially protein. Three, extra strength training exercises on my left leg. And four, continue using the OrthoFix PhysioStim bone stimulator. Finally, be sure to check out my Height Journey website. Here's the URL. Here's a preview of the Height Journey website. There's an About page, Resources page to help you out if you decide to go through leg lengthening surgery, and also services I offer currently two services, a consultation call and mock-up pictures to help you with your planning. You can also see the Height Journey website URL on the description of this video.